Hey, 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 everyone, Rasbowski here, and welcome back to FNAF World. We are still in the Pinwheel Fun House, but off screen, I actually worked out how to do the next part of it. As you can see here, Scott has been a sneaky, sneaky son of a gun, and there is a hidden way through here. Oh, Tangle, hello. But, as you can see in the party here, we've also got a couple of extra characters, which I'll introduce to you in a second. But, we've got Endo One, and we've got Nightmare Fredbear, and I'll tell you what, Baby Cakes, I'll tell you what. These characters are absolutely, insanely powerful. I cannot wait to see them leveled up. Guys, if you're hyped for this episode, then please hit that like button. It really, really is appreciated, as we use some hooks on this tangle. So, yeah, as I said, Scott's been very, very sneaky, and, um... He has uh, added in a secret, secret passageway there. So let's grab this real quick. And as far as I can tell as well, you want to go this way through some more sneaky stuff. And we've got our next boss. But before we go ahead and do that, let's save it up real quick. And go to the party where we can see our new characters. I managed to get Shadow Freddy. I managed to get um, Endo 2 and Nightmare Fredbear. I think they're the only... Oh, no, no. And we also got Nightmare Bonnie as well. So that's four new characters I got off screen. They all came very, very... Uh, quickly, um, one after each other, and uh, I, I was doing it while rendering the last episode, getting a couple of more levels, doing that good old grindy grind, and twerking away like Miley Cyrus. Anyway, let's just jump straight into here, and we should have Bubba! Excellent! Bubba, you're looking absolutely fantastic. Let's pop up Neon Wall, because that's going to help us a lot. Then we'll go for the birthday here. Let's go for the hot cheese. And let's go for Toxic Bite 2. Fantastic. So we'll poison him. And our team is going to be absolutely fantastic in a second. Because what we're going to do is we're going to jump scare, freeze him, and then we're going to put out the Endo Army. Guys, wait until you see the power of the Endo Army as well. Just having all these little animatronics popping up each side. Oh, I just love it. Jump scare. Okay. So let's switch our party up. Oh, and the little guys stay as well. Fantastic. Let's go for Pizza Wheel 2. And Pizza Wheel 2, we're getting loads of Pizza Wheels, which is absolutely fantastic. Hop. We're, we're absolutely wrecked. I don't care that one of our party members has just been ripped. Because there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Wrecked Bubba. When we first saw Bubba, we thought, this guy's going to be hard. This guy's going to be absolutely badass. And look at that. Just wrecked him. Real, real quick. Okay. Save it, Bubba. Thank you very much for your sweet, sweet butt candy. But we've got more to do here. Okay. Right, let's try this one down here. Okay. Is there any secrets here? I'm not trusting Scott anymore. Ah, see, there you fucking go. Secrets already. I knew there was I knew there was something else there. I knew there was. I love our new party, by the way. With neon wall here, absolutely fantastic. But not just that. We've got Megabyte there. The, 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 like, Nightmare Fredbear is so damn overpowered. It's unbelievable. I think I'm always going to leave Toy Chica in the team. I think I'll mix up a lot of the other enemies. But I think Endo 2 is going to help us out a lot as well. With the Neon Wall and the Endo Army, I just... Honestly, this new party is shaping up to be fantastic. And the reason I kept Foxy in there as well is because of Jump Scare. Because Jump Scare freezes them in the, in the spot and stops them having a turn. What does Bad Pizza do? Oh my gentle Jesus, that's insane. It's not quite as powerful as the other attack. Um, but it's still pretty damn good. Let's go for Neon Wall. I mean, the party just absolutely wrecks house. We've got, we've got full health still. It's just absolutely insane. I love it. Okay, Scott. What secrets have you got for Daddy? Show Papa your secrets. Okay, there's a golden box there. Is there any way of getting down to that? Oh, I want that golden box, Scott. Give me the sweet golden box, please, bruh. Go in. Oh, okay. We're out. Oh, nice. Counter. Bite. <gasps> so we got a counter chip. So if we get attacked, we can counter-attack. Not bad. I'm happy with our chip set up at the moment, so I'm not going to mess about with it. But we've got the secret secret there. Nice. Let's pop down into this one then. What? No! Damn it, Scott! What the fuck? Are you kidding me? <laughs> the music just got fucking sinister too when I popped through there. There he is! Finally, my friend! How you doing? Buddy! You found the exit! Oh, that's amazing! Thank you very much for that. It took me fucking ages. The giant pig lies on the other side of that subtunnel. He guards a key that opens the lock to the final guardians! Yay! Each guardian protects a button. Once you have found and pressed the buttons, the gates protecting the game's security system will be lowered. That's when you can strike at the heart of whatever is corrupting this world. 
navigate your way through the subtitles, but remember, don't go more than three glitches down. Good luck! As always, we're gonna have this weird sexual tension between the two characters. She's looking at him, he's looking at her. Attacking the game's security system will not accomplish anything. What, what do you mean, Fredbear? What do you mean? Get the key, but ignore the guardians. If you have succeeded in setting the clocks, then your true goal will be revealed. Blah, blah, blah. I didn't see the rest of it. Look into my eye. I didn't see the rest of it. How am I supposed to read that fast? I'm putting voice on, man. Okay. Well, let's keep going. Time to glitch through this world, yes? Man, shit's getting serious. Okay. Okay, let's look for the glitches. Man, Scott is a tricky fucker. Right, okay. Let's get going this way. And this looks like a point to go through. Or to come back from, at least. So we're gonna go to the right just now. Listen to that music, I love it. Where are the glitch points? Where are the glitch points? Where are the glitch points? Let's go north. Anything up here? Anything up here at all? There. There's one here. Okay, perfect. Let's keep going. We don't want to go any more than three down. If we go three down, we're gonna be we're gonna be in trubs. We're gonna be in trouble. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. We can do this. Is this a glitch here? No, that is not a glitch there. I thought it was. Definitely not. No, definitely not. We're just a, a floating spectral head through this crazy black and white wavy thing. Is this one here? This looks different. This looks different here. Let's go through here. Excellent. Perfect. Okay. Where do we go now? Keep going. Man, the world between the worlds is just getting larger and larger. Here's another glitch. Perfect. Let's go in a glitch again. I think we've got to keep glitching through. It's getting so slow. Okay, Freddy. Spectral Freddy head. Here's another glitch. Okay. Let's go. Butts, butts prepared, guys. Now, where do we go? Was that the one that we did before? Yes, it bloody was. Let's take us right back to the fucking start. Oh, you are fucking kidding me. Oh, Scott and his tricks, man. Here we go. <laughs> Deeper into the world we go. Okay. Wowzer. This is a bit... Things are getting dark, man. Things are getting real dark. We go up here. Well, that's not the way out there. Okay, that's fine. Oh, unless he wants me to go through a bloody wall again. Through one of the sides here? No, not at all. Man, the world between worlds is crazy. It's like one big acid trip after acid trip. So do we keep going along here? We'll get there. We'll get there, baby. We'll get there. Please don't send me back at all, Scott. Please don't send me back. I can't, I can't go back anymore. Oh, it's getting so dark. Keep going. Up. Oh, there's the exit there. Unless it's a bloody trick exit again. Probably, knowing Scott. Scoot, is this a trick exit? Please, no. Okay, we're back here. And there seems to be an exit down here. Okay. Is it as straightforward as that? Because we've technically found the hidden one. Has he sent me back to the start? I don't think he has. I think this this looks different. This looks different. This this definitely looks different. Okay, here we are. Is there some way of getting through to see that one, though? That's my worry, because there's two trees here now. Hmm. Okay, let's, let's, let's just go up here. Wish we could, like, save state, and then come back here. Chica, let's see. Is this, is this taking us to where we need to be? Please, please, I've been trying to do this puzzle for far too long now. It just brought me back to the fucking start, didn't it? It just brought me back to the fucking start, didn't it? Okay, so I'm back! I've gone away, I've obviously had about 24 hours away from this game now because I've had to do work and stuff, and the game kept glitching out. The game was broken for me, I don't know if it was something I did, but... Scott has just put an update up on the website, so hopefully we can actually get through this maze. Now, what I was doing before was correct. It was just glitching out as we're back with the Potato Man. Man, 
I want to get through this game tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, get yourselves buckled in for a wild FNAF ride. I'm really enjoying this game. I understand that a lot of people have had criticism over it, and some of it is fair. There are a couple of things that I would, I would like, added to the game, but a couple of things have been added, like a map's been added. Uh, move descriptions have been added as well in this update and Scott has said a lot more is coming as well So I'm excited to see what's coming next. I think a lot of the criticism has been unfair on Scotty boy. It, it has been but Let's see where we go from here. He's only one man. He's, he's a one man and he got excited. That, that's what happened Let's pop in here. Endo 2 not as cute, but more useful. He is actually very useful. I love him in our party. Are we gonna get through? Yes, we are! We're finally through! Oh, we are out of that crazy world. We're in Lily Gear Lake again. Hallelujah! Let's pop that down. Do you know what? I'm gonna save it because I just need to save it. You have no idea the struggles I went through. I actually started a new playthrough because I thought our game was broken. And I'm currently in World 5 for that one, but I'm so glad we can carry on with this one because this is the first one. That I know and love. I Actually, on the other playthrough, I've gone through and got all the clocks so far up to World 5. So we'll carry on with that one and see if it gives us a different end in another point. Okay, let's do this. Oh, Colossal, you aren't who we're fighting. We are going to absolutely destroy you. Okay, I'm going to get used to this party again. I want to change up our party just a tad. I want to put um, a Phantom Marionette in the first party. And I'm going to put Foxy back in the second party because I think... Phantom Marionette is more useful than Foxy's. I'm sorry, Foxy. You've been with us since the start in the very first party, but I'm gonna have to go with you. Pork Patch! Here we go, baby! Okay, birthday. So, oh, so here it does. It does a higher damage bite plus poison. High damage to all opponents. Maximum damage bite. That's why we want to do that one. Hot Cheese 2! So it has... He has added these things in, which are absolutely fantastic. I love it. Okay. A neon wall, please. Oh, we're ripped! Pork Patch, you are a powerful son of a bitch. Okay. Let's go birthday. Um, this is what happens when I, I, I'm not used to it. I'm, I'm here. I've not been messing about with this party. I'm used to my new party, um, which is it's, it's actually pretty powerful. But I think I don't want to replace Torchica. I want her till the end because we've had her since the start. We should be able to wipe this guy out. No problem, really. Our party is really powerful. We should get there. There we go. As long as we get that neon wall up, then we're, we're completely golden because of the, the, the stuff's fantastic. Look at those little endoskeletons going around just firing. Pew, 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 pew. Feeling like a cowboy. Okay, what's this? A key. Fantastic. <laughs> Thank you for that key. I think this means we can start unlocking some of these gates. Is that what it is? Remember how there was, there was gates before? Let's go and start doing, uh, trying to unlock some of them. If I remember correctly, there was a gate right up the top here, and then it will be a good test for us. Here we go. Here's the, uh, the gate. Okay, so we can open that. Oh, we've got Super Goon. Okay, Super Goon. I'm going to take you on escape key. Quick switch party. The reason I did that is because I don't want our good party getting absolutely mauled. Let's go for the neon wall real quick. Holy shit, we just got ripped. We just got absolutely ripped. Fredbear as well. He was our he was our main damaging machine. Okay, birthday. Oh my god. Our party has been absolutely shredded apart. Unscrew. Quickly swift, switch over. Toxic bite. Where's my, my mouse? My mouse just disappeared. Toxic bite. Okay, um, right, that's fine. Wow, this is an insane battle. We're gonna get absolutely destroyed. Can I run? I don't think I can. I can't run from this one. It's just you. It's just you, my friend. You're gonna die any second, aren't you? Oh no, we've lost the Oh! We got absolutely destroyed! We got absolutely wrecked by that guy! Do you know what? Fuck it, YOLO. Let's do it. Come here, you son of a bitch, Seagoon. Let's do it. Hot cheese too. Thank you very much. Let's go for that real quick. Let's go for birthday. We need to pop that on. Then we need to go for megabyte real quick. And then we need a uh, neon wall. Really? You just one hit KO me, son of a bitch. Let's switch the other team in real quick. Let's go for happy jam. Let's get our health on the go. Let's go for jump scare. Try and po uh, stop it. Toxic bite. Let's get the poison on the go. Unscrew, brilliant. This is ridiculous. Come on. What a ridiculous party. Right, let's go for a bite. Let's just do as much damage as possible. Bring back this party in. Wow! Really? Really? Ah, so here's the map that's been added to the game. That's fine. That's absolutely fantastic. Does it show boxes and stuff on here? I can't tell. I don't think it does, but it actually shows the caves, which is really good. Oh, man. Well, this is awesome. I'm going to have to study this in detail. 
We need to get like a, a high-res version of this on the go. That's gonna be absolutely awesome. Okay, I think we're gonna end off today's episode right there. We've done quite a lot in this episode. There's been a lot of crazy things going on. I'm gonna find out what we need to do next. I presume it's go and beat all these bosses and press each of those um, buttons. But to do that, I need to do a butt ton of grinding. So I'm gonna go away and do that. Pick a fantastic party, and then we'll move on from there. If you've got any suggestions, let me know down in the comment section below. And also hit that like button. It really, really is appreciated. And I'll see you soon, soon for more of this game. We're gonna try and beat it tonight. We're gonna try and beat it tonight. I think we can do it. Fingers crossed, baby. I've been Rosmowski, you've been the beautiful bastards. As always for watching, and I love each and every single one of you. Goodbye!